whoever wants to go first. Pigeons, just tell us about Kyle. What are his biggest strengths? What are some things you're trying to improve with him this spring? Uh, well, I mean, he's got a lot of strengths, but uh, he's a really accurate passer. He's really smart. Uh, he's doing a great job of understanding the scheme. Uh, I think, you know, the biggest thing is it is a brand new offense to him. So, you know, learning it, learning uh, chemistry with the players. But I've been super impressed with his leadership, uh, his work ethic, his preparation. I mean, you know, he carries himself like a pro every day. And, uh, you know, I think he's a great example to the guys in the room and, and the guys on the team. He's got a bit of a backup QB competition going on behind him, behind with yeah. Braden and Carlos. How have you seen him kind of teach them and lead them, and how have you seen them growing? Well, you know, really the big thing is just going through the process for every play. Like, how are we going to go about making sure that we understand it? So we try to communicate together all the time, and, you know, I, it's very easy to ask him, like, hey, what would you see or how do you see this? Because he, you know, he's played a lot of football and he's got a great understanding, and I think that helps them. You know, for him to be able to take that game experience and apply it. You know, a lot of times the, the concepts are similar, the terminology and verbiage is different. So he has an understanding of a lot of the things we're doing and he can pass that on to those guys. What's it been like for you going from tight ends um, to quarterbacks? It's been awesome. It's about as much fun as I've had coaching football in a long time. You know, a great group of guys to work with. They're a lot of fun and, you know, the staff is great. Have you had to make any personal kind of changes to your approach going from different position groups? Uh, well, you know, I coach quarterbacks my whole life, so it's really just kind of understanding, uh, taking what we're doing and putting in, you know, a terminology that the players can understand and, you know, just translating it, making the game as simple for them as possible. When Coach Fran was putting together his, his coaching staff for this year, what were those conversations like about you sticking around and moving over to the QB's coach? Uh, you know, we've had a great relationship for a long time. Uh, we knew each other well, uh, and I, I think that, you know, he's pretty much just said to me, look, we've worked together before. He knew that I had a background coaching quarterbacks and thought that would be a good opportunity, uh, you know, kind of best interest of the team, especially knowing that he wanted to bring Coach Nixon in and his background coaching running backs, which, you know, it is a rarity to coach quarterbacks and not be, you know, usually it's the coordinator. So I'm in a position where I get to coach a position I love and Coach Nixon is an elite running back coach. So uh, it's really, uh, you know, pretty good symbiotic relationship. It always seems a little maybe awkward when, it, when you bring in a new quarterback and then that guy has to become a leader right away when the team sort of has lead, some leaders that have established themselves. What did you see from Kyle in terms of just, you know, sort of taking that role? And was there a moment where you're like, yeah, we're going to be fine and, and he's got it? Well, I do think it's a little bit the nature of the way college football is going. I'm, unfortunately, guys are ha you know have to do that more and more. But uh, really, the way he conducted himself in the weight room was just such a great example of what it takes to work. You know, he's got a championship work ethic, uh, and he's very team oriented. So I, I think he understands the influence that he can have on the team. You know, that's just kind of the way he was raised. He played in a great high school program. Like he under he's understood those things his whole life. So uh, that transition. He's comfortable being uncomfortable, saying tough things to his teammates. You know, I always tell the guys, like, people that love you tell you the truth, right? So if you really care about your teammates, you're willing to push them and, you know, demand the most of them. He does a great job of that. How would you describe the vibe and energy of spring ball compared to the other programs and teams you've been with in your career? Uh, well, I could say this. I think these guys are having a lot of fun. They really enjoy competing. I think Coach Fran and the rest of the staff has brought a great energy where everybody feels like competition is critical. Uh, I think they're having fun and, you know, we're trying to foster an environment where these guys are having fun playing football because they work really hard. Uh, but, you know, this is probably the best part of their day. So, you know, the opportunity to come out here and, and enjoy practice and football is a good thing. And I, I think that that's a, a huge, you know, it's been a huge thing for building the culture of our team. Coach, what, what is it about New Jersey football players that make them so special? Uh, well, I think you got a bunch of things. I mean, one, uh, you got a, it's a tough state, you know, you got to just, uh, that's part of the mentality of people that grow up there. Uh, I think there's a lot of really competitive people, you know, you're around, uh, you know, a couple of major cities, you know, the guys in South Jersey grew up in that Philly area, the guys in North Jersey grew up in the New York area. So uh, just the, the expect, you know, there's a great expectation for a lot of people. There's a lot of really good high school coaches, uh, guys that are really into it, put a lot of time into it. There's, uh, so there's a, a great work ethic. Uh, there's definitely a sense of toughness and a sense of pride. And, 
you know, they want to bring that with them wherever they go. How special is that Coach Fran is bringing so many of those talented Jersey kids to play up here? Yeah, I think it's a great thing. I mean, you know, it, it's part of our backyard. It really is our, you know, a huge part of our footprint. And, you know, if we can get the best players in our footprint to stay home and come be a part of this, uh, you know, we have a chance to build something really special and compete at a level that I think a lot of people thought we couldn't uh, until he kind of changed that, that message. I know coaches often warn, you know, don't trust PFF numbers, um, but the numbers on Kyle were that he's great, he's got a clean pocket, and he struggles when, he, when he's pressured. Um, is that something that you guys are sort of particularly focused or does he need to get better there? Uh, well, I would say that if you studied almost every quarterback ever that way, uh, that's that's the truth. I love hearing Tom Brady like can't handle pressure in the middle. Like, well, get a six six, two hundred and ninety pound guy and have him hit you in the jaw and see how that feels and throw the ball. So, like, it is something that you're always trying to create. And you know, any type of pro style quarterback, I think you're always going to deal with. They're going to try and you know bring pressure up the middle and try and get hits on the quarterback, that type of stuff. So we try to build all of our individual work on decision-making and making guys uncomfortable all the time because we have other guys we got to teach to play in the pocket. And, you know, he's got to learn how to maybe extend and do some of those things. It's a great question, but it's the reality is you're always trying to create an environment where they feel like they're under stress and making decisions because the, other than the game, how else do they get it? You know, they don't get hit really in practice. They don't see a lot of those things. So we try to make sure that practice is as challenging as possible so that that's because that's a thing for everybody. And the last thing we want is guys that when they feel pressure run out of the pocket. We want guys that can stand in there, hang in there, make decisions and, and throw the ball accurately. And you guys are test running the in helmet communication system for potential use in the fall. Just how have you felt that's going with the three quarterbacks? I think it's going well so far. It's definitely a, it's a different world, you know. I mean, the ability to communicate with them, get them messages, uh, and I think it's just as much a learning curve for the coaches as it is for the players. Obviously, Coach Nixon has you know, uh, more experience with it than I do. But uh, I think it's been good for them, you know, to help get everybody else lined up. It's because, you know, when you want to go fast, it doesn't really help the other, you know, at least the other skill guys. But uh, it is a way, you know, it'll be interesting to challenge ourselves as much as possible in the spring and summer so that when we get to the first game, we get all the kinks out. Is that, Last you, for coach? The, is that you on the mic talking to them? Is that all of you guys? Like, how does... How no, it's one guy. Work? So okay. Coach Nixon is doing it. Okay. Um, and then, you know, I, I guess who knows when we get to the season, if that's how he'll want to do it. But... Uh, right now he's doing it and it's been really good. It's been a good experience. It's a good way for him to communicate with them too. Coach, what's been your role in constructing the offense and knowing the strengths of Kyle and also the wide variety of you know bodies that you got in the receiver room? Uh, well, as far as the, the offense, I mean, it is 100% Coach Nixon's offense, but he is a great collaborator. Like he's a really easy guy to work with. And, you know, I think one of the biggest things for me is to be able to communicate how the quarterbacks understand and see something and be able to bring that back to the room and make sure that we're all synced up on the same page. Coach Douglas and I have a relationship going back a long way. Uh, Coach Johnson and I had an opportunity to work together last year. So those guys are all great pros. So it's really easy uh, for us to work together. It's definitely a really collaborative uh, environment. And, you know, we're kind of taking the scheme. You got a lot of guys with different experience to be able to, you know, maybe look at something from a different perspective. But, uh, Really, we're kind of taking a scheme and, and you know, building and growing it. Thanks, Coach.